Hey, it's me, your boy Blue Gentsuga, and today I'll be doing my Yu-Gi-Oh! Terra analysis, which I haven't done in a long while. I haven't been uploading as much or even recording as much due to, you know, the usual depression and anxiety produced by the year 2020. But I'm back now, and I'm going to be starting off with this series again. First we have the deck, or the archetype, Dragon Maids. Dragon Maids, if you don't know what they do, they're basically... They're basically a dragon archetype. You have the smaller Dragon Maids, which transform into the bigger Dragon Maids by tagging out. Anyways, let's get right into this. Dragon Maids have great boss monsters. They have really good and decent effects, which is nice. They can snowball advantage fairly easily and surprisingly despite being a fusion based deck. They can OTK because you can easily get a bunch of big monsters on the field, especially this guy, who is really big, negates and floats, so that's pretty good. This deck is incredibly consistent because you have multiple search cards and you have two in themed foolish burials. And then you also have generic dragon support and you have great spells and traps because I can't think of any really terrible spell slash trap in this deck. The cons. Oh yeah, and I should also say it has great recovery too. Anyways, the cons. It loses to effect negations because if the little dragon mates get negated, especially at the start of the battle phase, you kind of... I wouldn't say you lose, but that's kind of your turn over and you lose... and you lose a bit of advantage. And, I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but it is a weakness this deck has. As well as cards like There Can Only Be One, but that card hurts almost every deck in the game and it can't play through more than two negates because this deck is because this deck has a lot of choke points basically I would say this deck is a tier 2.5 I wouldn't say it's tier 2 because like I mentioned it has its own weaknesses plus this deck I don't know how to explain it, but this deck has the potential to be tier 1, but it's not at that stage just yet. So I'd say it's tier 2.5. It's a decent deck. Next, I'm going to be talking about Heroic Challengers and then Butter Spy. Why? Because these are two very underrated archetypes that I wish received more support. Heroic Challengers, if you didn't know what they are, they're a rank 4 warrior toolbox based deck. And they like to focus on fairly niche effects. The pros. Master Rule 5. Can OTK and half of their monsters are good slash decent. Which isn't really much of a pro. Ugh. Which isn't really much of a pro at all. And next we have the many cons. They don't have three rota anymore. They're too slow. Usually can't play through and negate without just losing. Lacks enough good slash decent heroic support. It lacks swarming potential, which is ironic because I think two of their Xyz monsters, including Ragna Miniad, requires you to spam the board with monsters. Which this deck kind of struggles to do compared to other decks. And it lacks search power. I feel like they need their own card similar to that one Noble Knight card that basically searches. I think it has Chalice in its name. I feel like it needs that as well as like one or two more decent main deck monsters to actually make this deck work. And I guess the spells to protect your heroic Xyz. Oh, by the way, the main deck monsters are called Heroic Challengers, and the Xyz are called Heroic Champions. 
fun fact. And next we have butter spying. If you can tell, this is arguably one of my favorite Xyz monsters, if not my favorite Xyz monster in the entire game. But unfortunately it's you know stuck to the butter spy archetype and this archetype is severely lacking. Despite the character who used it being in four duels, but that's neither here or there. The pros. Cool boss monsters. When I say cool, I mean some of their effects are decent and they have really great and amazing artworks. And another pro is they have cool battle manipulation, which doesn't do much against links, but let's not talk about that. For the cons, needs butter, butter spy support. I don't know why I put need and lax in the same sentence, or in the same line, I mean. It's too slow, it lacks power to close games quickly. It can brick fairly easily. And when I say brick, you don't have that many butter spy monsters to actually work with, which is the problem. You only have four main deck butter spies, and one of them isn't really a butter spy, but it's a pap. Pa I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's, but it's not a butter spy, basically. So you only have three butter spy monsters to work with, and this exceeds requires you to use butter spies, so just running generic warrior support doesn't really work all that well. This deck is a glass cannon because if you don't close out game fast enough, you lose, and this deck doesn't really have many ways of putting on damage. And links exist, like I mentioned. Loses to negations, like any negations would just kill this deck. And it also lost two rotas. What this deck needs, like I mentioned with heroic challengers, they need a rota. Another thing this deck needs, they need ways, they need more butter spy monsters. And they need like, I don't know, like a soul charge, like their own in theme soul charge, or an in theme their own in theme mirror force. But the soul charge within the deck should lock you into butter spy monsters. And I guess Pappy operative monsters. Yeah, basically just lock you into Xyz monsters. I mean, or I guess warrior or insect Xyz monsters. Because this deck desperately needs support, especially since, like I mentioned, this thing, which is my favorite card in this entire archetype, it returns itself to the hand when it uses its effect. So it's just a pretty looking beat stick, and that's it. Unless you just want to burn your opponent for a little bit of damage. And that's all I have to say about these three decks. Dragon Maids are very decent, Heroic Challenger and Butter Spy desperately need support. And I have a feeling that they might receive support in Phantom Rage because both characters in the anime are... The characters that use these decks in the anime are practically a thing or a couple. And I can actually see Konami making a search card that searches Heroic Challengers and Butter Spy, Butter Spy Monsters. Well, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, it's me, your boy, Blue Gatsuga, and I'm out.